How Japan Plans to Overtake All Asian Countries with These 10 Mega Projects Japan is renowned for its technological prowess and innovative spirit, consistently pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Over the years, the country has become a global leader in various fields, including automotive manufacturing, electronics, robotics, and infrastructure development. With a rich history of technological advancements, Japan continues to spearhead groundbreaking projects that have the potential to reshape the world as we know it. In this video, we will explore some of the ongoing projects in Japan that will be a game changer and will set Japan aside from the rest of the world. But first, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notification so you don't miss any of our videos. 10. Toyota Woven City Toyota's Woven City is an ambitious project that aims to create a futuristic and sustainable prototype city of the future. Located at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan, the city is being developed by Toyota as a living laboratory to test and showcase cutting-edge technologies. Woven City is envisioned as a connected ecosystem where people, vehicles, and buildings interact seamlessly. It will serve as a testbed for autonomous vehicles, smart homes, robotics, and AI-powered infrastructure. The city's name, Woven, represents the interconnectedness of various elements within the community. The city's infrastructure will be designed to prioritize sustainability with renewable energy sources and a comprehensive smart grid system. It will feature a network of pedestrian walkways, dedicated spaces for personal mobility, and abundant green spaces. Woven City will be home to a mix of residents, researchers, and businesses, fostering a collaborative environment for innovation and experimentation. The project aims to redefine urban living, providing insights and solutions for future smart cities worldwide. Construction of Woven City began in 2021, and Toyota plans to gradually populate the city with residents and businesses over the coming years. 9. Tsukiji Elevated Park In 2020, Japan announced a redevelopment plan that would add greenery to the Tokyo Expressway running along the rooftops of buildings in the Ginza area. The proposed plan covers the development of an underground roadway to coincide with a section of the Tokyo Metropolitan Expressway that runs through Nihonbashi being moved underground, and the redevelopment of the KK line into a promenade. The goal of the project is to bring new life into the Jinza area. In a meeting with Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koik, Mayor Yamamoto said, I hope to have a green promenade similar to the High Line in New York. The governor responded, we looked at many similar cases of urban development plans overseas when considering how to redevelop the KK line. The KK line is about two kilometers long and connects the Yesu and Shimbashi areas. The Tokyo Expressway, funded by Densu and Mitsubishi Estate, also operates commercial buildings such as Jinza Inns and Jinza 5. The company uses the rental revenue from its buildings to fund road maintenance. The project which the mayor drew inspiration from New York's High Line is a city park built on a historic freight rail line elevated above the streets of Manhattan's west side. The project has been very well received by residents and tourists to the area. Chu Ward proposed that the Tsukiji River section of the Tokyo Metropolitan Expressway Loop Line should also be covered in greenery. The plan is to complete the project by 2029. 8. Tokyo 2045, Japan's Futuristic City Japan is currently working on a project called Next Tokyo or Tokyo 2045, where architects would create a futuristic megacity that is adapted to climate change in the year 2045. Cohn Peterson Fox Associates and Leslie E. Robertson Associates joined forces to propose a vision for a new city in Tokyo Bay. Their design incorporates elements that improve the bay's preparedness for natural disasters, such as earthquakes and typhoons, as well as a mile-high residential tower and a public transportation-friendly district. The water development's hexagonal-shaped structures, ranging from 500 to 5,000 feet in width, were imagined in layers to minimize the effects of intense waves from the bay, while also allowing ships easy access in and out of the busy harbor. What's more, some structures would be pre-filled with water, allowing access to islands that are public beach harbors and urban farming plots. Salt water from the bay would also be retained to grow algae, a source of renewable and clean fuel. One component of the plan that has drawn much attention is the Mile High Skyscraper. Sky Mile Tower, as it's being called, 
would soar some 5,577 feet, twice the height of the Burj Khalifa, the world's current tallest building. The residential mega skyscraper would house 55,000, roughly the population of White Plains, New York, with multi-level sky lobbies where residents would share amenities such as shopping centers, restaurants, hotels, gyms, libraries, and health clinics. The building's hexagonal design was conceived after a battery of wind tests proved the aerodynamics of the shape produced the most wind-resistant results. One major concern for the architects was pumping and distributing water to people a mile in the sky. They addressed the issue by designing a facade that could collect, treat, and store water at various levels in the tower, while relying on gravity for a natural distribution. 7. Underground Flood Control Tunnel Japan's Underground Flood Control Tunnel, known as the G-CANS Project, is a massive infrastructure endeavor designed to prevent flooding in the Tokyo metropolitan area. It consists of five interconnected concrete containment silos and a network of tunnels spanning over 6.3 kilometers. Completed in 2006, the project can store approximately 3.5 million cubic meters of rainwater, equivalent to around 1,400 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Equipped with high-capacity pumps, the system redirects excess rainwater back to the rivers, reducing the risk of urban flooding. The GCANS project showcases Japan's commitment to disaster prevention and serves as a remarkable example of engineering ingenuity. Occasionally, Parts of the project are open to the public for guided tours, allowing visitors to witness the scale and complexity of this underground flood control tunnel. 6. Takanawa Gateway Station Takanawa Gateway Station is a newly constructed railway station located in Minato, Tokyo, Japan. The station is part of the East Japan Railway Company's JR East Yamanote Line, which is one of Tokyo's major commuter train lines. Takanawa Gateway Station officially opened to the public on March 14, 2020, but modifications are being made to the station to take it to the next level. The station's design is notable for its modern and innovative architecture. It features a distinctive curved roof made of wood, which gives the station a unique and visually striking appearance. The wooden roof is meant to evoke a sense of harmony with nature and pays homage to traditional Japanese architectural elements. Takanawa Gateway Station serves as a transportation hub, connecting various parts of Tokyo and providing convenient access to popular destinations such as Haneda Airport and Tokyo Disneyland. The station is equipped with modern amenities, including spacious platforms, elevators, escalators, and a range of services and facilities to enhance the commuter experience. Takanawa Gateway Station's opening has improved transportation options for commuters and visitors to Tokyo, contributing to the city's efficient and interconnected railway network. 5. Bodu 350 Wooden Skycrapper The Bodu 350 Tower, also known as the Wooden Skyscraper, is a unique architectural project planned for construction in Tokyo, Japan. It is set to become the world's tallest wooden building, standing at a height of 350 meters, 1,148 feet. The project is a collaboration between Sumitomo Forestry Co., Olt, and Nikin Sekyult, two prominent Japanese companies. The design of the W350 Tower emphasizes sustainability and the use of timber as a renewable resource. The building will feature a hybrid structure with a combination of steel and wooden elements to enhance its stability and safety. The extensive use of wood in its construction promotes environmental conservation and reduces carbon emissions. The tower's design incorporates greenery with balconies and gardens on multiple floors, providing a connection with nature in an urban setting. The interior spaces will be flexible and adaptable, catering to various functions such as offices, residential units, and communal areas. The W350 Tower is not only a symbol of Japan's advanced architectural technology, but also showcases a commitment to sustainable practices and harmonious integration with the environment. The project aims to demonstrate the potential of wooden structures in high-rise construction and inspire future developments worldwide. 4. New Hydrogen Project Japan has been actively pursuing the development and implementation of hydrogen as a clean energy source. 
The new hydrogen project is an initiative aimed at promoting the production, storage, and utilization of hydrogen across various sectors. The project focuses on establishing a hydrogen supply chain, including the production of hydrogen from renewable sources, storage and transportation infrastructure, and the deployment of hydrogen-powered vehicles and fuel cells. The goal is to reduce carbon emissions and achieve a more sustainable energy system in Japan, with hydrogen playing a significant role in the transition to a low-carbon future. 3. Maglev Train Maglev trains in Japan refer to the country's high-speed trains that utilize magnetic levitation technology. The term maglev stands for magnetic levitation, which means the trains are propelled and suspended above the track using powerful electromagnetic forces. Japan has been at the forefront of maglev train development and implementation. The most prominent maglev train project in Japan is the Chuo Shinkansen, a planned high-speed line that will connect Tokyo and Nagoya. The maglev trains on this line are designed to reach speeds of up to 500 km per hour, 311 miles per hour, making them among the fastest trains in the world. Maglev technology offers several advantages, including reduced noise and vibration, increased energy efficiency, and faster travel times. It achieves these benefits by eliminating physical contact between the train and the track, resulting in a smoother and quieter ride. Japan has been conducting extensive testing and research on maglev trains since the 1970s. The country opened the Yamanashi Maglev Test Line in 1997, which serves as a dedicated track for maglev train trials. Successful testing and demonstrations have paved the way for the construction of the Chuo Shinkansen, which is expected to be operational in the coming years. 2. Hamamatsucho Building Redevelopment Project The Hamamatsucho Building Redevelopment Project is a major urban development initiative in Tokyo, Japan. It involves the revitalization and transformation of the Hamamatsucho district, located in the Minato Ward. The project aims to enhance the area's urban landscape, improve infrastructure, and create a vibrant mixed-use environment. The redevelopment includes the construction of new commercial buildings, office spaces, residential units, and public amenities. The project seeks to attract businesses, residents, and visitors to the area, fostering economic growth and revitalizing the district as a dynamic and attractive destination within Tokyo. 1. Sky Mile Tower The Sky Mile Tower is an envisioned 1,700-meter skyscraper building intended to be built in Tokyo, Japan. The design of the tower is part of an initiative called Next Tokyo 2045 for research and developmental purposes and was made by Cone Peterson Fox Associates and Leslie E. Robertson Associates. The Sky Mile Tower would be built on an archipelago of reclaimed land in Tokyo Bay. This proposed reclamation project with the Sky Mile Tower as its centerpiece is dubbed as Next Tokyo. The building is designed to be occupied by around 55,000 people and is planned to be 1,700 meters high. Representatives from Next Tokyo believe the value of new waterfront properties in Tokyo Bay could help pay for the project's construction should the proposal go through. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for more mega projects around the world.